So I was up till uh, 3 in the morning last night uh, developing this macro that does everything inside the form post. Now, uh, this form post here. And uh, this is just showing you how you can get the textures properly converted to work with source. And it's kind of a long and tedious process. And uh, it's all grunt work, so I figured I would make a macro so I never have to do this crap again. And, I mean, it took a while, but I got it done. So, uh... It's just a Photoshop action that you import. It's There's a download link. You can grab it. So I'll show you how to use it. So inside of Photoshop, you have to do a couple things to set it up. Now, it's really easy. You just have to make sure you have things set up properly so that the script can run without problem. So go find your textures. And what you need to do is you need to load them into Photoshop in a specific order. It's the Riverboat main. Well, that's what my texture is called. But this is the Diffuse texture. And then you're going to put in the one that has the roughness and metallic map second. And then third, you put in the uh, diffuse, or not the diffuse, excuse me, the normal map is third. So you have the diffuse, the metal roughness, and the normal map in that order. Now select the normal map, and then you're going to want to open up your actions uh, window. And you probably don't have that open, so go to window, actions, and you should have something over here, either this play button or this box. And um, it's going to look a little bit differently than mine because I have these down here. And so that thing you downloaded, that is the action. You're going to go up to uh, this little three bar menu thing. And you're going to load actions. You're going to find that file you downloaded and you're going to load that. It's going to put a folder down here called Overwatch Set. And that is the action. Now if you look inside the action, you don't need to do this. But if you look inside the action, you see it has all the different steps required to uh, convert those textures properly and I followed the steps uh, like a hundred percent so this should work perfectly every time now the caveat is that I didn't uh, make it work with the negatives if you read the form post you'll understand what those are uh, most people don't need to worry about that for most of the textures um, in the future the near future I'm gonna make a version of this set that takes care of the negative so basically you need to find out it's real simple you just look at your metallic map and see if there are any values that are absolute black and uh, if there are those you use the one for negatives if there aren't you use the normal one so uh, don't worry about that too much anyway this works every time as so long as you set it up properly so if I just open this up uh, select the set that you've imported and make sure again that you have no the normal map selected now just find the play button right here and click play you see it runs through all the steps and uh, it's going so fast you don't really see what's happening but it's doing its thing so don't worry it doesn't take very long there's just a whole lot of steps it has to go through and I'll tell you what it's done here is so on this first document in Photoshop we have uh, all these layers that's where it was working that's where the macro was doing its thing in the second layer, we have the normal map, and that has, of course, the alpha that you were supposed to create. That's all generated in there for you. And the third document is the exponent texture. You have all the different layers that are required for that, and it's all done properly. This one right here, the fourth, is the diffuse. You have, of course, the alpha for that. And then the fifth one here is the CH, and it's just the, that one yellowy texture that you get. So you have all the different ones in these different documents, and from there, you can save these out however you like so that you can get them eventually into SFM but of course you know now that these are all separated out it makes it real easy just to save them and use them from there now I'm probably gonna do a little bit more work on this later I actually can get it to save them out for you it's a little more complicated uh, and if you have the 32-bit version of Photoshop that has the VTF plugin you can actually save them out directly as VTFs and I can automate that as well again I just gotta do a little bit more work on that but this um, this macro here works really well, and I hope you have good luck with it. If there are any problems, let me know, either in the comments or on the form, and I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here.